So sit in cross leg that position. Roll the shoulders back. Make sure you grab your butt cheek up. Roll the shoulders sitting tall and strong. Sitting straight. Deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. Deep and inhale into the belly. And exhale. Next, deep inhale into the belly. Feel the sitting bone grounding on the mat. When you exhale, feel your feet, feel your calf. Imagining you are a tree and your whole lower bottom is grounding. You feel centered. Deeply inhale again, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back. Your spine in, is in this neutral position. You feel your belly inflate and deflate. You have now arrived to the mat. One last deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. Intention setting. Today's theme, it's about nourishing. Share this intention. Or pick your own one. Think about an area in your life that you need some nourishing. Give it some time to be in stillness. Or just simply not thinking and rest. We are going to sing three ohms to start the class. Deep inhale into the belly. Oh. Deep inhale again into the belly. One more, inhale into the belly. Oh. Feel into the remaining vibration. Deepen your inhale. And exhale, letting go. Gently open up your eyes. We're going to start the shoulder stretch by sitting into a deer pose. So you're going to really start straight today. You, if you have a towel, you may want to sit on a towel. You want to have the back leg 45 degree out, so move the back leg down. Front leg straight. Have you need to sit on something? Um, do you have a towel or something that you can sit on so you have some height? Yeah, or some really big books. Yeah, cushion also work. It's usually better when it's a more secure, but let's start with this. Or for you, you move this back feet closer. So you are still here, but you try to um, Center your hips so you grab the butt cheek out. This is funny to grab the other butt cheek out. Yeah. Then roll the shoulders back. You're going to inhale, hands up towards the sky. Feel the shoulders opening, fingers touching the ceiling. And exhale, just gently squeeze, swim down, head back, closing the rest. We're going to do it for three times. 
at three times. Get the fingers further away. Inhale, stretch yourself, hands up. Lengthen the forearm, lengthen the chest, lengthen the side. And exhale, swim back down. One more. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, swim back down. We're going to go to side twist, but go in the same way. Inhale, hands up, stretch yourself. Exhale, left. Um, whatever is your bare knee in the front, that hands onto the side. Yes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend towards the side. But opening up the chest. So don't do this. Open up the chest. Mike, open up the chest. Yes. Deeply inhale. Lengthen the top arm straight, 45 degrees, breathing out, feeling, pressing the sitting bone down, both sitting bone down, and lengthen the chest, deeply inhale, and exhale, coming back to our center, inhale, both hands up, exhale, the opposite hand onto the knees, Onto your bare knee, have your hands, yes, and turn towards the back, feeling the side twist, deepening your inhale, and deepening the exhale, last deep inhale, and exhale, slowly come back up, inhale, stretch yourself. Exhale, it will sound funny, but it will make sense. Turn towards the front knee, the torso towards the front knee, hands onto the mat, feel this counter stretch. Not really counter stretch, you will feel the um, opposite torso stretching in this way. Try to press both sitting bone down onto the mat, deeply in. And out, walk yourself back up. Now turn the knees to the other way. So front knee, one front knee and one back knee. Try, you kind of, it's tricky, but you really need to get the sitting bone there. So I will, I will have uh, put my front knee up, get the sitting bone there, then put it down. Then adjust the other ones. Yes. Swim up deeply, inhale. And exhale, right arm down or the other arm closer to the bare knee down. Inhale, lift the opposite arm up. Exhale, side twist. Feel and both sitting bone onto the mat. When you press the opposite sitting bone onto the mat, you're also opening up the hips. Deeply in. Open up the chest and out. In. And out, oh, great job. Coming back to us, the center is the side twist. So inhale, hands up. Exhale, twist towards the front bare knee, hands onto the knees, then open up towards the back. Try to get both sitting bone down. Deeply inhale. When you try to get the other sitting bone down, you're opening up the hips. Deeply in and out. Can you feel your opposite hip opening? Press the knees and thighs onto the mat. Then slowly coming back. Coming to so-called the counter twist. Inhale, hands up. Turn the torso towards the front knee and hands onto the mat, bow down. Feeling. Again, press the back knee down. Really press it down. Feeling that hip opening. Feeling the twisting of the lower back. Deeply inhale and exhale. Last in and out. Slowly walk yourself up. We're going to release the feet by opening up into a straddle. Flex both feet. Grab the butt cheek out. You could wiggle just uh, so flex the feet, but uh, bend the knees to wiggle the hips. Deeply inhale and exhale. One more in 
and out. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, coming forward 45 degree, but lengthen the lower back. Flex the feet, press the thighs down. Hands relax whatever it is on the mat, but making sure your lower back is not curled. Closing the eyes. Flex the toes more if you can, deepening your inhale. If you feel a really good hamstring stretch, also hips opening and lower back lengthening. And exhale. Deeply in and out. One more in and I'll slowly walk yourself up, coming to butterfly feet together. Grab the butt cheek away again. Hold on to the feet. Look up, lengthen, roll the chest up. Yes, roll the chest up, roll the shoulders back deeply. Inhale, look up. And exhale, coming forward, 45 degrees. Really lengthen the lower back. When you exhale, contract the belly and lengthen the lower back. Imagine there's someone pulling you away in 45 degrees. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more. Deeply in. And I'll slowly walk yourself up. Move this butterfly further away from you. We're going to go to like a cat cow. You're going to have hands on the knees. So when you're doing this, you're kind of pushing it down too. We're going to inhale, arch up. Look up towards the sky. Bend your arms, open up as like a chicken, wings. Exhale, crawl the neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Push your back away. So you're kind of straightening the arms, but not fully. You're really pushing yourself away. When you inhale, can you come closer to the mat? Inhale, head as close to the mat as possible, then slowly coming up, look up. Exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, belly, really lean back. Deeply inhale, arch us up. We are opening up our spine, but at the same time, you are also opening your hips. And exhale, curling in. Two more on your own. Can you really go deeper with the circle? Deeply inhale. Draw a big curve. And exhale, curling in. When you have your hands on your knees, you're kind of like stabilizing yourself, so you're really curling back. Deeply inhale. And exhale. This feels really good for your spine and also for the hip opening. Last inhale. And exhale. Hold the knees together. Just give yourself a little squeeze. Bend the feet closer to you. Grab hold of the opposite elbow. Give yourself a squeeze. Lengthen the lower back. This is kind of like a rebound for your thighs after all the opening. One more in. And out. Holding it here, we're going to do this micro muscle movement. So when I'm holding it, I'm going to curl my back. So I'm pulling, I'm feeling on this bit. This armpit bit. Pulling my back, curling my back, trying to get the belly away from my thighs. I really feel it on the arms. And I up. Then I'm really pressing my shoulder blades back onto position. Then curling in, feeling the lengthening of the armpit. And up. Is there anyone that doesn't feel the armpit lengthening? Great job. One more in. And I'll release your little balls. Do everyone have a wall? 
Mac, is your door closable? No, Mac, uh, we'll do the wall later on then. Okay, so let's go to a bit of a cat cow. You need a book or a blog because after cat cow and child post, we're going to go to lizard post. So fold the mat if you have to, or put the towel onto the mat if you have to. We're going to do some cat cow and cow pose and threading the needles. So coming to tabletop position, internal rotate the elbows. Yeah, when you are ready. Inhale, arch up, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl the upper back, mid back, lower back, sit back to child pose. Lengthen the hands in front, feel the shoulder stretch, walk the hands as much as possible to the front of the mat, opening up the fingers, feeling the lengthening under your armpit, on your shoulders, and on your shoulder blades. One more in. And out, slowly arch your look up again, curl the bar, and exhale, sitting back to child pose. Can you open up the knees as wide as the mat, feet together? Walk the hands as further away as possible, press the left shoulder down, press the right shoulder down, feel it. The shoulders opening. One more in. And out. Setting up for lizard pose. So coming back to tabletop position, step the right feet next to your right hand. Move your left uh, knees back. You could step on a book and step on a block. This is going to help you to deepen the stretch. Also, this is going to help you to really settle down into the nourishing bit. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Marie, you need to move the front feet front or move the back knee back. Deepening the inhale. Have, do you feel more than a three? Okay, deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Feel the right hip opening, this yummy opening. Step the whole feet onto the mat. Just two more. Deeply inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out, holding it here. Left hand closer to the middle of the mat. Push your right knee out. Turn the chest towards the right. Feeling an even deeper opening. But also a stretch onto the front left thighs. And you push your knees away and roll the shoulders up. Roll the chest up. Roll the chest up. Deeply inhale, yes. And exhale. One more in. And out. Last in. And now coming back to tabletop. When you wiggle your right feet back, can you actually stretch it out onto the side of the mat? Yes, more clo path closer to the, it's basically in between my knees and my hands. Oh, yes, great job girls. So when you stretch out the right feet out, you should feel a really nice opening onto the right hip. Treat it as a counter stretch. One more inhale. And exhale. Hold it in this position. Move the left hand closer to the middle of the mat. Try to see if you can lift your right hand. Deeply inhale. Rotate the shoulders. 
and exhale. Two more circles in and out. In and out. Coming back towards the center. We're going on to the other side. Setting up for tabletop. Then move the left feet in front. Bend the left feet forward. Deeply inhale. Move the right knee to the back. Can you untuck your right toes? Move the right, either move your right knee to the back or move the left feet front. If you have a book or something, really step onto it because it's going to help you get to the stretch easier. Deepen your inhale. And deepen your exhale. Imagining you're sending this nourishing feelings, nourishing thoughts to your left hip. It's like adding water into soil that is dry. You are here to make your hips healthy. To also release any blocked emotions onto the hips. One more in. And I'll leave the left hand, put the left hand onto the left knee, push your left knee up. Only the outer edge of the left feet is on the mat. Rotate the shoulders, rotate the chest to the left. Really press the front of the right hip closer to the mat. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. One more in. And out. Last in. And out. Hands back onto the mat. Wiggle the left feet straight out onto the side of the mat. Feel the lengthening of the left hamstring when you're here. Just move the feet as further away as possible. Pressing the whole feet down, feeling the stretch. Move the right hand in the middle of the mat, parallel to your right knee. Then lift the left hand up, opening up the chest to the sky. Rotate the shoulders deeply, inhale. And exhale. In. And out. In. And out. Let's try something interesting. Hold onto this position. Hands back onto the mat. Try to thread your left hands underneath the right shoulders. Put the left shoulders down. Left feet is still out. Right hand climb on top of the mat, straighten the right arm. So you're feeling the shoulder stretch. Try to get the right chest as close to the mat as possible. This is a really good pose because you are stretching your left shoulders, putting pressure on it. You're also lengthening your left feet onto the hamstring. All of the poses that we do today, it's kind of in a dual purpose. Exploring this different shape. See what will nourish our body the most. One more, two more, deep inhale. And exhale. Deeply in. And oh, really yummy, climbing back up to tabletop. We're going to go to the other side of thread the needle. So right feet out, in between the right hands and the right knees, straight out to the side. So legs straight up to the side. This time thread the right hand underneath the left armpit. 
straightening the left arm on top. Deeply inhale, try to get the left chest as close to the mat as possible. Feeling the yummy opening on your right shoulders. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Two more deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. One more in. And out, hands back onto the mat. Come to tabletop position, knees together. We are going to go to child pose with bent arms. So hands in front, join the hands together into prayer. Bend your arms. Try to put the prayer onto your back. Deeply inhale, feeling the upper arms opening. And exhale, sinking the hip down even more. Activate the upper arm, active stretching it. Feeling the opening, not just in the upper arm, but maybe the shoulders and the chest. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back up. Coming to sitting and to our favorite double pigeon. Flags, we're going to rotate the feet first. Flags the left feet, hold it onto your right hand, roll it in one direction. Deep breath in. And out. Deeply in and a baby holding the telephone. Really push this. Don't uh, stay here, push it out and up. Yes, deeply inhale. Maybe side out. Ah. One more in and out. Ah, wheeling this feet down onto the other feet. Flex the right feet, holding it with your hands. Rotate it one way. Deepen your inhale. And deeply exhale. Maybe the other direction. In. And out. Baby holding the telephone for three, two breaths, deeply in. And out. Contract the belly, open up the hips even more. One more in. And out, feet down, setting up for double pigeon. Grab the cushions to stuff it in between your knees. Flat one right feet onto the mat. Flex the left feet, put it on top onto the right. Grab the butt cheek away from both of it. Put the cushion underneath the left knee. Flex both feet deeply, inhale. Can you contract the belly and lengthen the spine? And exhale. Deepening your inhale. And exhale. If you want a few more, inhale, both hands up. Exhale, coming only 45 degrees. Make sure your lower back is long and straight. And relax your hands anywhere that feels comfortable. Closing the eyes, imagining you're sending this nourishing power. Nourishing like liquid to the left hip. Sometimes in life, it's like growing plants. You need to put in the water, you need to put in the fertilizer, 
but then it's time in stillness and your plant will blossom. It's like your body. Stillness is good for your body to recover, to feel nourished, especially after a stretch. You are stimulating the fluid there. So your myofascia, it's lubricate. So you won't feel the tightness. But in fact, you will feel the chi moving freely in and out of your body. One more deep inhale. And exhale, slowly walk yourself up. Straighten the legs. Just go it one way. Maybe bend it one way, the other way. Then setting up onto the other side. Flex the left feet onto the mat. Then flex the right feet on top of to the left. Grab the butt cheek away. Put the cushion underneath, underneath the right knee. Flex both feet. Feel the grounding on your sitting bone. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, letting your calf, your toes, your hips fully sink in. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. If you want to feel more, inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, coming forward, 45 degrees. Lengthen the back, don't curl the lower back. Really flex the right toes and press the right hip down. Release the hands anywhere that you feel comfortable. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. No matter what has happened in this week, You are here to nourish your hips and nourish your body with a deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Try to deepen the inhale. And deepen the exhale. In everyday life, we are taught to go, 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 go. But in fact, our body needs a full relaxation before it can get a good night's sleep. That's the reason why it's so good to practice hip opening. Hips is where you store all the stretch, stress mentally all the unspoken word. Even from a body point of view, when you're sitting there all day, it stores all the lactic acid. This may feel hard, but knowing that you're releasing all the toxins before your hips can be fully released and lubricated again, you're nourishing your hips. You're nourishing your body, but more importantly, you're nourishing your mind. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Slowly walking back. We're going to move to the walk. You can choose figure of four onto the wall or you can choose frog pose onto the mat. Whatever you're feeling like today. If you choose frog pose, I want you to go double frog. So you put two cushions, one on each of the knees. 
Hands in front and slide onto frog pose. Feeling the opening of the hips. You could be on your hands or you could be on your completely lie down. Whatever that you feel comfortable. You would usually feel more if you're on your hands. Just three more posts. So choose this or choose figure or fall onto the wall. Whatever you feel like today. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. Hold there for two more breaths. Find a way to release your body even more. Maybe belly onto the mat, maybe hands onto the side. Deeply inhale and deeply exhale. Release the belly so you can release the thighs and release the hips. Imagining anything that doesn't serve you this week. A little popping bubbles. Boop, 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 boop. All of this dissipating from your body and from your mind. Last deep inhale. And exhale slowly. Walk yourself up. Very gently wiggle yourself back. Sit in child pose for one breath before moving to the wall. Deeply inhale. And exhale. Slowly coming up. Move the mat to the wall. We are going to go to last two poses. You can choose between figure of four, the big V-shaped legs. We're going to have the feet onto the wall for Savasana. So pick any one pose that you want to do before the break, before the Savasana. Could be figure of four, you could directly come to an open V-shape, whatever that you feel like. Deeply inhale. Whatever you are doing, hands onto the head, opening up the armpits. And exhale. Try to deepen your inhale. And deepen your exhale. Deeply in. And out. One more in. And out. If you're in figure four, change to the other leg. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And out. 
One more in. And out. Wiggle yourself very close to the wall. You could open up to V shape for like a little while before straight leg to Savasana. Or you could stay in this V shape for Savasana if you want. Anything that allows you to release your body. Deeply inhale. And exhale, release your lower back. Deepening your inhale, release your thighs. Stillness, nourishing. You are investing the time to nourish your body and nourish your mind. The more we relax our hips, the more we let go and let gravity take control, the deeper you could go, the more you let go in your life, the more the universe will show you. Release your head. Release your eyebrows. Release your jaw. Release your upper back. Release your whole arms your elbow, your forearm, your wrist, your 10 fingers. Release the shoulder blades. Release the mid back. Release the lower back. Release the calf. Release the thighs. Release the knees. It's completely fine if it's a little bit bent. Release your ankle. Release your 10 toes. Completely relax, letting go. Savasana.
slowly wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your feet. Close your knees to your chest. Hands overhead, give yourself a really good stretch. Roll towards the right hand side. Be in the fetal position for one breath. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. With your eyes closed, push yourself into a sitting position, cross like the deeply inhale and deeply exhale. Inhale, bringing new energy to your body. Exhale all the toxin and tightness. One more inhale, feeling the nourishment. Exhale anything that doesn't serve you. Great job dedicating time to nourish your body and your mind. We are going to sing one Om and three Shanti to end the class. Deep inhale into the belly. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. onto the heart center. May your body feel nourished, feel the peace, and feel proud of yourself for spending time to nourish your body. Bowing forward, namaste.